And then can we come over to the next page, page 13? <coughs> I was aware of preliminary discussions between Tease Contractors and Blewett in relation to a training officer. However, it was never, ever discussed at executive level, nor was a training officer ever appointed. See that? I see that. And that's true, isn't it, what the late Mr Ivory says? What's true is that Glenn and I had discussions about him undertaking training at the project. Well, he says that no training officer was ever appointed. I can, I can see that, but I'm telling you the discussions that he and I had. And earlier you told me that not only was one appointed, but the late Mr Ivory was that very training officer. He was. And that evidence you gave was quite false. No, it wasn't. And you knew it was I, false when you gave it. No, I didn't. It's not false. I'd like to know who prepared this statement for Ivory because it wasn't him. And then um, he then deals with invoices for Melbourne Water. Do you see that? Um, what page is that? Page 13. I've been shown invoices which relate to the provisions of a consultancy agreement between the Australian Workers' Union and T's contractors in regard to Melbourne Water. Yep. It says that's not a matter would be considered. It was never discussed by myself and Blewett or any other person. Yes. See that? He then says at the bottom of the page there's no correspondence between T.